Hey everybody, Jordan Murphy here with ROICatalyst.com. I want to welcome you here today to our interview. I'm really excited to have Michael Somerville with us today. He's from Ontario, Canada. This guy is an expert in all things online marketing. He has taught me a great deal and uh, I, I believe that you're going to walk away with this interview with some, some insights, some tips. Without further ado, Michael, welcome to the show. Awesome. Thanks for having me on here, Jordan. So, Michael, you just told me, it's, let's talk a little bit about your background. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Michael? Well, right now, I'm 100% I'm internet marketer, um, doing a few things in, in network marketing and stuff like that. Um, but my, my past has been really packed full of stuff. I mean, I'm only 27 and I've done a ton of stuff. More, mainly what, what I focus on is everything that has to do with me sitting in front of a computer and, and making money. That's, that's what I main focus in, in life is internet marketing. I love it and enjoy it. What was it that inspired you to get involved in internet marketing? I, I got involved. The funny thing was I got involved with uh, the online marketing basically when Facebook was basically popping, like when it was coming out and people were starting to develop it and then they opened it from the Harvard people and then you could get on. I was actually in college um, and I you could get on Facebook with my college ID, Loyalist College. And uh, so I got in and then they didn't, it was very minimal back then. And then I got this bright idea to, to be in the entertainment business. And I used Facebook to market uh, everything like I just I just had this idea that I could create a group spam everybody into this group and then get them in a cluster and just promote all kinds of crap to them and that's what I did and uh, that was in the early days of Facebook and I've followed suit every time Facebook makes a change I adjust my marketing funnels I adjust everything but literally uh, Facebook was the reason why I um, basically just you know got into internet marketing because it made it made it so easy for me to to market everything so fast Easy is a relative term, and that's one of the reasons why I'm really happy to have you on our interview today because, you know, for you, what occurs is easy. Others need to learn. They need to get those skills. Tell me a little bit about um, FB Trainer. The FB Trainer was developed because there was a need for a complete business suite, and a lot of guys weren't um, providing, you know, like there's all these quick get rich quick Facebook, you know, I made a million dollars on Facebook and 99% of those guys hadn't made a dollar on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we're actually the guys that were making the money on Facebook teaching these other guys. So we decided that, you know, there's a ton of ways to use Facebook, yeah. but nobody's showing every way. It's, it's a crazy course. There's nothing out there like it. I mean, there's been a few little copycat type things I like right. to call them, but there's there's nothing that can compare to it for sure. Now, we were talking uh, earlier before we started the interview, and you brought up something that I thought was fantastic. I'd never heard of it before, but I don't. maybe you've coined the phrase, interruption marketing. Can you explain that? Well, basically... The, I, I, I interpret internet marketing as two, two things. Search marketing, where people are searching for a product and they end up either getting in a funnel, purchasing it, or getting on a list and, and get followed up, or interruption marketing. And interruption marketing for me is the most uh, valuable part of an uh, internet funnel that you can have because you basically put yourself in between um, the product and the person. So if you're an affiliate for something, or if you're sale salesman for something, or even real estate agents or anything, you put yourself in the middle, but you put yourself personally in the middle. So you, you're on Facebook, you can run Facebook ads, and people aren't on Facebook to buy stuff. But it's a proven fact that uh, eight out of 10 people will end up buying something while on Facebook. Those are stats actually released from Facebook, that eight out of 10 people will buy and are willing to buy. So I ended up developing basically I thought I coined it. I've heard a few people say it since then, uh, but this thing called internet, you know, interruption marketing. So as far as ROI, return on investment is concerned, how do you see, or as far as a ranking with social media is concerned, the use of Facebook in improving one's ROI and why? Wait, there's a lot of guys that define the ROI with the Facebook you know, the the like or the fan. And they, there's a few guys that said every fan should be worth $136. I haven't actually determined um, a result on a fan for either a client or myself or any campaign that I'm running. I determine my my ROI basically on investment versus what I made at the end of that day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, 90% of the time you can minimum you're going to get is double your money on Facebook. If you're not doubling your money on your on Facebook, then you really need to look at the, the campaign and tweak it. Okay. Um, I I judge a lot of return on investment, not only with, with currency like money or like 
you know, funds, returns, purchases, stuff like that, but interaction because Facebook is all about interaction. So if you get a build a page as a business person, a regular business person, or as uh, you know, any type of marketer and you have continuous interaction, I would classify that as one section of return on investment. So right. you're basically building this, this channel and the people are very active on it. And because they're active, they're building your channel even bigger because it's going viral. Um, and it opens up your marketing funnel that much more, right? You got the funnel and it opens it up because it's going viral. Yeah. Um, 90% of your efforts on Facebook are free. Yeah. So, I mean, the only time you're really paying for anything is with either a customization of a page or a Facebook campaign, like ads and stuff like that. Yeah. But the rest of the time, so you'd basically base your time versus return on funds. Maybe you can explain in short for the layman, what is a funnel? And then uh, talk a little bit about how, uh, if you were to talk to yourself, you're a young guy. If you were to talk to yourself five years ago, what kind of advice would you give to yourself? We'll start off with that because that, that's very, that's actually, I mean, I have a conversation with myself every day about that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't team up with as many people as I have teamed up with. Okay. I would kind of be more selective. Um, and if I, if I knew now what I knew back then, I, I would stay more more selectively underground. And a lot of guys don't like to say that, but once you come out in the public, you open yourself up for so much, you know, criticism or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so I would I would kind of stay, fly low, but allow myself enough branding that my products and my name and everything's still out there, but not so much that, you know, there's enough out there that people can start, you know, tagging different tags to my name or whatever. And I, I like to fly low, but I have enough branding to make sure that, you know, your brand's there, the people, the following, everything's there. Definitely make sure to partner with the right people because if you partner with the wrong people, um, with JVs or affiliates or anything like that, they can really hurt you. And I've learned that very fast because you asked about funnels. Yeah. Uh, a key funnel on Facebook, and it's the quickest, the easiest way for anybody to create a funnel is literally to set up a Facebook page um, for a brand, a personal figure like yourself or anything anything like that. And right away, and this is one of the main things that I see a lot of big businesses and we try to help them, like Fortune 500s, they miss this one key thing. They don't put a landing tab on their page. And then they don't, and if they do have a landing tab, they don't have it set to default. The landing tab is almost like, think of it as like the gate into the, into like a subdivision, right? You want to basically have them announce or do something for you to allow them to come in or into a community, right? So okay. I use that landing page as either a squeeze, an incentive, get their name and email, get their phone number, uh, get them to buy something right away. Um, that that is your front end revenue, or as you classify it, as building, you know, your ROI right away. So okay. if you're going to do it, make sure that you set up a landing tab. An, a, and have it set right in the you know the admin settings to default because that's going to have you if you're a personal figure that's going the first thing they're going to see is your your face a video and say you know opt in mm -hmm. below to get more information like the page second step and, and that is that's an easy winning funnel to build likes right. and to get a, a list going and then the same way if you're going to run Facebook ads Facebook ads are pennies for the click if you keep the traffic within Facebook. So if you're gonna keep the traffic within Facebook, you wanna drive them to that landing page so it ends up being a result that you want so you can follow up with them later on. But that's one key funnel. There's all kinds of ways you can do it and all kinds of little ninja tricks you can do, but that's one <laughs> key funnel that a lot of guys miss. And then they'll block their wall. They, they, they'll, they won't allow people to actually talk on their wall on a page and that, that takes away uh, this thing called edge rank, which Facebook bases everything on edge rank, and it takes away that viral activity. And they miss that. Big companies, I mean, big companies miss that stuff. You wouldn't believe it. Wow. It's crazy. But that's the that's key key to to basically your business on Facebook. So, Michael, I know we could go on and on. I mean, you got you have a bag of tricks that I'm sure many many people could learn from. You probably forgot more about. Facebook and online marketing that many people will ever learn. Um, if you guys want a little bit of uh, free advice, you can go to fbtrainer.com. Some, some great tidbits there for you to check out. Thank you, uh, Michael, for joining me on ROICatalyst.com, and we'll see you all again next time.